let's cook my seriously creamy chicken and sweet corn soup. In less than 10 minutes, you're going to be slurping on this hearty takeaway favorite. My stock is on boiling away already. I have a piece of chicken which I've pre-boiled. The only reason I've done that is I like shredded chicken on the top of mine. So when I dunk my prawn crackers in, I can pick up a bit of chicken and stuff it in this big old juicy mouth of mine. So, cream corn. If you don't have cream corn, get a tin of sweet corn from home, whack it through the blender for about 10 seconds and you'll have cream corn. In this goes into my now boiling chicken stock. And we'll just give that a quick mix. We'll turn the heat up. We want to get it up to the boil as fast as possible. I'm going to add just a tiny pinch of salt at this stage because we have added stock, therefore it will be salty already. White pepper, really important for this dish. It adds a background heat. So when you're eating it, you're getting that warm glow sensation. Now, while that soup's coming up to the boil, I'm gonna mix my corn flour and water. Don't use hot water, because it will go lumpy and gloopy. Once this soup is boiling, we're near enough ready to go. That's how quick this is. So this dish literally cooks in minutes. In the restaurant, this was a favorite and it was ordered every single day of the week. We're open seven days a week. Um, but yeah, I can't remember a day that we didn't sell sweet corn soup. Now, it's really important I stir as I add my corn flour. The reason being is it will go lumpy. But providing I keep the liquid moving, it'll be smooth, it'll be creamy, it'll be as thick as you want because you're in control of how much corn flour you add. So that's thick enough for me. So you can just see it's like thick cream, I guess. So off goes the heat. Let's give it a quick taste for seasoning. Seasoning spot on, which is normally the case because I've been doing this a long time. Um, I've just got some frozen peas. Um, they have defrosted. If you are using frozen peas, add them in a little bit earlier just to make sure they're warm through. So in go my peas. And then the very, very last thing I've got to do, and this is why it's called egg drop soup in some restaurants and in America, is that I'm gonna add two whisked eggs and I'm gonna be stirring at the same time. And as I stream it in, it's gonna fleck throughout the soup and just thicken it even more so. Okay, right then. Let me just add a couple of big spoonfuls. And you can see the green really just helps bring this dish alive. Pop that to one side. I'm going to add a few slices of shredded chicken. Now this is still warm from when I cooked it earlier. And we're just going to arrange these around the bowl. And we're going to finish off with a little tiny drizzle of sesame oil, which is just going to give it that nice nutty note. And the last thing to do is to give it a proper try. So get yourself a prawn cracker, dip it in, Fantastic. 